genius curl here okay say you have a square um, you make your square and there's a line between it so the square would have sides A, 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 A. Right? Makes sense, correct? So, um, you take your square, right? And you realize that there's a hypotenuse in the center of it, from one corner to another. So, say you decide A is 1. You have one, 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 one in your square and a line between it. So that's pretty normal because that could be a square. All sides could be one. And you have one in the uh, Pythagoras theorem a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. Squared plus one squared is equal to c squared right so um, that's 2 because 1 squared plus 1 squared is 2 is equal to c squared and now you have the root of 2 is equal to c when a is equal to 1 But you must wonder what's half of C? I wonder. Because if you make a cross, that's another hypotenuse because it's a 90 degree angle. and you have half of C as the cross in between so you're like well the root of 2 times 2 under 2 like 2 under the root of 2 is equal to C over 2 now you square both sides because you can do that too. And you get 4 over, or sorry, 2 over 4 is equal to c squared over 2. Oh, over 4, sorry. So 1 half is equal to c squared. And. Uh, over C over 4. C. But when you squared it, this could just be 2 squared. But it's 4. It's 2 squared or 4. So you could also have, flipping the page over, one half is equal to one over four times c squared so you take four and times it up there you get two is equal to c squared right but there's this fancy rule you can use where when you have this rule and you got a squared plus a squared is equal to c squared this is in the case of when a equals one a plus a squared 
is equal to c squared, I'm going to try something new. You go the root of a plus a divided by the root of a minus a is equal to uh, times a plus a squared is equal to the root of a plus a times c squared over the root of a minus a. It's a rule you can do in math. I scribbled out this equal sign on this side. So this all adds up to in this case that we're using a equal to 1 in a square with 1 2 squared root of a plus a which is 2a and this is the root of 0 it goes to infinity where this See how it's a limited infinity? Because a minus a is uh, 0. And let's see if it breaks down when we do this. I'm just further proving my other point, like, I think. Or I'm completely losing the point of what I'm doing here. Um, So where we have here one half of that is hypotenuse. Breaking down mentally. Anyways, this means that uh, you got a plus a times a plus a plus a plus a um, times a plus a 2a squared just hurrying up the math here um, plus a squared 4a squared, or sorry, 4a plus 2 um, over the root of a minus a is equal to infinity. So that equals, right? And therefore, infinity equals infinity because this is should be a solid number. So if infinity equals infinity, that means it proves that if you divide by both sides of infinity, 1 is equal to 1, which is what a is. So I'm not sure if you caught all that, but uh, lots of the stuff I put down was redundant. Hopefully you understand that it's complicated math and should feel sorry.